Here are instructions on how to build a balsa wood tensegrity model. This is the finished product. This is what you'll be making. And you're beginning with a kit that I have made for you. In another video I'll show you how to make the kit itself. When you open the kit, the first thing is to separate there's a group of six small rubber bands held together by a twisty. Put them aside. They're to be used later uh, after you finish the model. If it falls apart, you can start over with these reserve small rubber bands. So, looking at the kit, you see that you have six struts, six small rubber bands, and six large rubber bands. And you'll be working with the struts in pairs. The first step is to construct a three-dimensional cross. Begin with a two-dimensional cross. Take two pairs of struts, place the wide sides together, shape a cross, and put small rubber bands on each of the four ends. And then rotate the struts so the narrow ends are touching each other, and you'll see that this takes up uh, quite a bit of the slack in the rubber bands. The third step is to feed through the third pair of struts and each time I do this still I find it a little tricky to get my head around how do you work them in and here it is in the photo hope this helps. Okay then you've got them in you've got your first step completed a three-dimensional cross Take a moment to pause, admire your handiwork, even things up. The second step is to begin to attach the larger colored rubber bands. They have two sets of placements and we'll begin with the first. So you just notice that you have two uh, purple, two green, two red. Let's begin with a purple rubber band. You feed it through a pair of the struts, right down between the middle of them, and then one each end of the rubber band goes over a notch. You do the same with the other purple rubber band on the other side. Then you do the same with the green rubber bands. And then you do the same with the red rubber bands. And congratulations, step two is completed. You've attached, you've made the first attachments for the colored rubber bands. Again, pause. Even up the model. Admire your handiwork. The third set of things to do is to take the middle of each rubber band and place it around a second set of notches. So this time we'll begin with a green rubber band. You take the middle of it, you place it around the adjacent um, perpendicular struts, and like that. Same on the other side. Same with the purple, same with the red. And then congratulations, step three is completed. Once again, pause. Take a breath. Even up the model. The final step is to snip away the interior rubber bands. You need a nice, sharp, small pair of scissors, nice and carefully. Poke in there, snip them away. When you're done, you'll have six cut small rubber bands. Say goodbye to them, thank them. They were sacrificed. They held everything in place until the model was ready to pop open. Congratulations, you're done. Mission accomplished. You hold in your hand your tensegrity model. It has such wonderful springiness. Um, you can adjust it and make it more even by sliding the uh, rubber bands in those little notches. Congratulations on a job well done.